So mine is a little bit of a marker as to how long it may well be uh, before we come out of our bunkers, as it were, and pick up the pitchforks uh, to which Molly alluded. And, and I offer this just a, as a marker of the pace of this thing. The New York Times has come out with a newsroom memo today, and the New York Times is working remotely. They say they are not going to have everybody back in their newsroom until September the 8th, which is a wow. long time from now. And yes, cities and states are opening up, and yes, some companies are. And set aside for a second the second wave and set aside for a second whatever's going to happen when all these people get together at stores and shops and, and you know, contact uh, tracing doesn't work and we don't have testing. But a, a major American institution is saying, yeah, no, we're done till September the 8th, which I think yeah. is really interesting. I think it's yeah. really, really I mean, interesting, and it's a marker. And, that, and September 8th is a long time from now, man. It's a really long, long time. Four months. Can you, so it's been two months, and frankly, my family's cracking under the strain. I don't know how everybody else is doing. But four more months of this, it's going to be tricky. Yep. Gonna Families be are tricky. cracking. Yeah. Google <laughs> and Facebook have been saying the same thing. They've both told oh, their, all their employees to plan to, a lot of the tech companies, yeah, have said plan to stay home through the summer. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. There's no, I think this is the week where, yeah, this is the week it started yesterday where I, I at least am internalizing and beginning to seriously mourn the before times. Like those are, oh, those well, are literally I, the before times, right? Like this is, yeah. I think intellectually, the, yes, there was the awareness that, but what, but as we open up, right, as we, as we yeah. make the calculation that we have to we have to endure both we have to try to like move forward and it is going to lead to more death without a doubt and that as we move forward into what we think we take our little baby steps into new normal like it was safe to just stay home for those who could right like essential workers yeah. will be more endangered now like we're now we're entering the new normal and i'm like personally waving goodbye to the old one and it's tough I don't know if I shared this conversation I had with Kimberly Adams with you or with somebody else, but it, she she and I were slacking one day about reopening and blah, blah, blah. And she said, I honestly think one of the issues here and one of the reasons it's so difficult for us to move forward is we have not been able to properly mourn the before times because they went mm -hmm. away so fast, so quickly that it was just like, you're done. That life is over. Yep. Move on. And that's not the way human beings work, man. You know, right. you can't just shut it down. And I think that's and that's, that's a real thing. I think it is. And I think it's we're going to feel it more and more as we start to, like, creep forward and realize just yeah. how different it really is. Yep. Without a doubt. Yeah.